Hey guys, so I am here with Toby and this is the video I promised you guys. Sorry, it's kind of getting late on Friday, but I didn't want to forget. So hopefully if we sit right here, you can see me cut his face. It's okay, Toby. So these are the scissors. They're like green handles. Come here. They're good for dogs. It's okay. Um, I like these. I also have like these blue ones, but it's really important to use a good dog scissor because they cut so easy. So you can do it like this and try to hold them. Um, the other thing you can do, which I'm gonna try to do this, is kind of get over them. Cause this is the way I like to do it. And hopefully y'all can see. Cause that way I can kind of control them better. And then you guys can see. But I'm holding him between my legs so he can't really move. So I can easily just do that. So the first thing you wanna do are these eyes. So you just gently, usually what I do is start on the inner. I don't know if y'all can, hopefully y'all can see. And just kind of try to cut that a little bit. So it's down a little bit like that. And then the edge, the corners. So the corners, you have to be very careful. It's just a matter of holding his head still. Okay, so this corner. And being able to control him. He has a little sleepy there, I'll cut that out. Um, okay, so I got, see so just a couple cuts really made a difference on the eye. And then you can just kind of trim the top a little bit. So it's kind of even, just kind of, like I said, there's no perfect way to do it. You just like, whoops, I might take a little bit too much off there, but that's okay, we just keep going. And you just try to somewhat even it out a little bit, come to the sides and just kind of cut. Let me see, buddy. Maybe he looks up at me. Now, I try to go in this middle part. I don't like to shave this middle part, so just kind of cut it with the scissors like that. So it's kind of short, but see, you go with the outline of his eye. So I cut all this. Then the nose, you can kind of just trim down a little bit, trim the, around the mouth. So you just a couple, you don't have to do a whole lot. It's just a couple little quick cuts. That's why I was like, you don't really have to pay a groomer. And holding him like this really helps me to control his movements. Now I wouldn't groom him like this because my legs are already hurting, but just for a quick face trim and do his beard a little bit there. And then sometimes I'll just keep, I keep pulling the hair out if you notice so I can see which pieces still are longer because it gets curly and then you can't tell. Okay, but let me see. Then we come around here. Okay, so. I know it's probably hard for y'all to see. Hopefully this is on film, I don't even know. Um, cut that. Babe, do you know if I'm filming this? Can you tell? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Yeah. I'm in the right position. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit up top in there. Let me look at you. Let me look at you. Then I like to go around. So then, this, since he has this distinctive white part, I trim right around that to make it a little bit more prominent. But I don't want to go too short on you. So see, he's kind of a wiggle bug. It's okay. Now, what you can do, which he's not gonna like, 
See this part? This part's pretty long still, all this. Real shaggy. See all that shag and stuff? So, one of the easiest things to do, just to kind of like even it out a little bit, I'll take the clippers on a high level, like a big comb. Um, so I'm not gonna cut short. And I'll just kind of run it through just real, real gently. Now he don't like that, but watch him, good boy. And I'll just gently, now you don't want to do a short level with that, you can shave them. This is just kind of, kind of just eating it out. <laughs> That's good, buddy. Just getting some of the wispies. He's getting a little bit antsy with this part, so I'll go back to this. Just to kind of, especially under here, kind of even this part a little bit better. Woo! You got it good, buddy. You don't have to do this part, obviously. But I like to because. Just, that's all you have to do, really, just to kind of see where you're at, even it up. You don't have to do all this. Like, you could be done with just the eyes. Um, still a little long right here, a little long back here. I tend to become a little OCD with it. Then I look at them like, oh, well, I didn't mean to go that short, but hey, it's okay. It'll grow back all the time. And because I'm always in a hurry, I'm definitely not always a perfectionist. Now on the side mouth, the lip, you can kind of just even it out like that. Let me see that lip. So I bring the lip out. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I just kind of even that part out a little bit. Good job, you're doing good. And you just keep telling them they're a good boy. You're a good boy. You're doing a good job, Tobes. Positive reinforcement always helps. It's easy to get frustrated. Now he had an eye boogie. Get that out. So I kind of try to cut short around. If they have some eye boogies, try to cut short around the bottom of the eye. Because that hair irritates their eye and can create more drainage. So if you can kind of get in there and shorten that up right there, that'll help a lot too, not having so much drainage out of the eye. Of course then, start wanting to do everything. Ears, you know, I just kind of cut the bottoms. Or I look for mats because, you know, mats hide in the ears a lot. And the top, you can kind of just whoop, do a couple little strokes here. I don't think I groomed him too long ago, so he's really not that bad. But bad enough to where he couldn't see. My little Toby Cuddles playing T. Alright, let me look at you now. It's hard to look at him like that, so then I have to come around. It's not super even, but. <laughs> let me get that one. Constantly pulling the hair back up so I can see where I'm at to even it out. Of course, I'm doing a little extra. 
pressure now, but I just want to look pretty. Handsome. Handsome boy. It doesn't have to be perfect though, you know? They look cute no matter what. But, you know, I just kind of go with it. Okay, can you sit down? Let's see. Ready? Sit down. He's not good. He's not good at sitting. Okay. See? Now he can see again. And I just kind of cut around his eyes, most importantly. But the most important thing about cutting their eyes is making sure you get the right scissors. So, good boy. So, like I said, these are great. These were on Amazon. They won't cut your dog. Um, they have guards on the back bottoms, so they won't injure them. My other scissors are super sharp. And if I'm not careful, I can actually damp cut them with them. I have before. Um, not badly, but... These ones are pretty good, but you can't groom the whole body with these because they're really good for the face, actually. Um, if you use like regular scissors, can't they're see. way too dull. And it, oh, you can't? They're way too dull and um, you won't get, can you know? Yeah. There he is. He's looking good. Um, he's done now. But they're way too dull, so I hope that kind of helped. Hopefully you guys got a little bit of um, a look at it. And see, there's not even that much hair, just a little bit. Just a little bit of hair. Tubbs, and he looks perfect. Good job, buddy. All right, hope that helps, guys. Have a great Friday night.